snow glide kit. You have a travel bag, the snow glide machine itself, which can do base bevel and side bevel. It comes mounted with one diamond wheel already. That diamond wheel has a rough side on it, which is a B46, and a very fine side for doing base edge at a B25. You get a power source with the cable with a male and female plug, which will connect to your machine. As well as the power source is rated for 110 and 220 power. So that's good for US power with this cord and in Europe or New Zealand, Chile with this cord. New Zealand, Chile, you'll need an additional uh, adapter to get into the wall power, but the, the, the power source is automatic in terms of regulating that power. In addition to this kit, we also offer two other items. One is a rough diamond for breaking in new skis. If you want to get a ski that comes in at 90 degrees all the way to 3 or 4 degrees, it's better to use the rough diamond to uh, get that work done and then go to your medium diamond which comes with the machine. We also have a very super fine World Cup style stone, which is a B10 stone, which is extremely, extremely polished. If you want the ultimate in smoothness and edge, the B10 is what you're going to want to add to your snow glide kit. Okay, this is the snow glide machine set up in the side edge mode. Just want to make you familiar with the machine. This bolt here on the left hand side of the machine, the large bolt with the black knob on the top, that keeps the lower, the upper trays and the lower trays connected for the side edge mode. You have your, ba your edge angle is set here. Remember it's an effective angle from 90 degrees. So 87 would be 3 degrees, 88 would be 2 degrees, and 89 would be 1 degrees, and 90 is obviously 0 degrees. You have your on and off power switch. This is the guide protector which can be removed simply with these two screws. By removing these two screws you can pull the entire guide off the top of the machine. This allows you to get in and clean the machine. It's good to get in there and clean that out. Compressed air or a large uh, uh, paintbrush works the best. Put the machine back together very easily. You always want to make sure that you run it with the guide for safety. This will keep the metal shavings out of your eyes. The side edge mode works again with this lever. This is the lever that you use. Thumb, in, thumb here, index finger here. This is how the machine moves back and forth. So you can gauge, disengage, or engage the machine by just pulling this lever back. Pulling it towards you disengages it, letting go and allowing the spring tension allows the machine to go back and engage on the edge. That's the side edge mode. This is the snow glide machine set up in the base bevel mode. You can see that the lower tray and the upper trays are at 90 degrees to each other. To familiarize yourself with a couple parts of the machine, here again, the large bolt on the left hand side of the machine with the black knob, this holds the machine together in the 90 degrees. Very important part here is this is the spring loaded tension which holds the diamond stone away from the edge until you're ready. The cylinder is the only thing you're going to push. Simply finger, index finger underneath, thumb there. That's all you're going to touch. Make sure you're not touching this lever here. The other parts of the machine to familiarize yourself with is the spring tension. This black screw in the side edge mode sits all the way down. It blocks the machine from moving so the machine won't all the way go to the edge. So you have to make sure that you have spring tension. So this is the spring tension screw. It's connected to the spring as you can see. And this mode locks it out. So in side edge mode you want to go in. For base bevel mode you're going to have this pulled out completely and spring, extra spring tension. Your base bevel is done set here. Again, it's effective angle. So this would be three degrees of base bevel. That's a lot of base bevel. So obviously you're going to want to go to 89.5. That'd be half a degree. 89 would be one degree. You have your on off switch, your power cord which connects into your power cord from your power source. You have your diamond cutting wheel which in this case will cut on the edge of the fine wheel. Another part of the base edge portion is the depth of cut. That is done with this rod here, which is connected to this barrel. It has a locking nut on the back side, so that needs to be loose. But once you loosen that barrel, you see that this barrel moves in and out, and it's connected to this bearing. This will be your depth of cut. You'll see that in the setup for the base bevel mode. But this is a very important part. Always make sure that you remember to lock out the locking nut. There you have it, set up in side edge mode.